Hello, boys and girls. I hope you had a great day. It's another story with Sleep Tight with a Book of Night with Mrs. Reidenauer. Tonight's book is A Good Night Walk, and it is by Elisha Cooper. The pages in this book are kind of sticky, so we'll see how I do. Let's go for a walk around the block and see what we can see before it's time for bed. The neighbor next door has finished her gardening. She rests against the red wheelbarrow under the oak tree. Do you see her? The leaves of the oak tree bend in the wind. Its high branches bounce a pair of chattering squirrels. Do you see the squirrels? The squirrels trace each other from the telephone wire to the clothesline to the flag. They race toward the bird feeder. <clears throat> the birds circle the feeder, fluttering their wings. The black and white cat goes to rest in the shade of the apple tree. Can you find the squirrels and the black and white cat? The smell of apple pie pours out the kitchen window. The screen door opens and shuts, echoing over the lawn. The boys mow the lawn and fill the trash cans with cut grass. The man from the post office delivers the last mail of the day. And there's the bay, the long boats on top, and the round move rising above. Let's turn and walk back the way that we came. Can you find the moon? The mail has been opened. The trash cans brought to the curb. The screen door is silent. The apple pie eaten. The black and white cat goes inside to sleep. The birds are calm. The flag is down. The clothes are in. The telephone wires hum. The squirrels are quiet. The oak tree is still. The wind has settled. The neighbor next door has put away the red wheelbarrow and turned off the lights. We're home. It's time for bed. And all we have seen, we will see again when we walk along the block in the morning. The end. Sleep tight.